Good morning. We are in Littleton, New Hampshire still. We are going to take this hike up to Kilburn Crags this morning and see what kind of view we can see. Did you almost fall? This is dragging me like a sled though. I hope I got that on camera. Anyway, we're going to take a, take a look at this hike up here. I know. Scones and coffee. That picnic table's got scones and coffee written all over it. What we need we to bake some scones. We definitely do need to bake some scones. Okay, that was a nice hike. Let's get back down and we'll meet you back in the kitchen for the meatballs. Mm, meatballs. Welcome to our Vagabond Kitchen. Today we'll be making meatballs with a twist. The not, meatball twist. Not the tip, yes. <laughs> You're very good at that. <laughs> Here is a half cup sauteed um, white onion. Sorry, not a half cup. Half a white onion sauteed, and about six to eight cloves of garlic. Uh, I didn't really measure. I just pulled off a bunch of cloves and minced them. So, saute those until they're clear and let them cool. That's kind of what I've done here. Now, in this bowl, what I have is one cup of whole milk ricotta cheese. Yes, this is all going in the meatballs. Um, one cup ricotta cheese and one cup breadcrumbs. Now I used Italian breadcrumbs because I don't have Italian seasoning. So I thought I could kill two birds with one stone by just using these and not having to buy the Italian seasoning to use for this. So uh, that's what we've prepped so far. Now what happens is basically everything else gets added to this ricotta mixture. So I'm gonna start just putting all the other ingredients in, mix that up, and then we're gonna add the meat to the mixture. So Dave's taking over in the kitchen. We're adding one cup grated Parmesan to the ricotta panko mixture. And then we're adding the half white onion and six to eight cloves of garlic sauteed. Now we got two eggs going in. And then we will salt and pepper to taste. So I'm thinking maybe a teaspoon and a half of pepper, maybe um, same for salt. I don't know. Give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. And we're using kosher salt here. How much pepper? Uh, maybe the same. I don't know. Just measure that with your heart. I like pepper. I know. Same teaspoon and a half. And this is fresh ground peppercorns. Okay, mix that all up and then we'll add the meat. Dave's got the mixture mixed. He's gloving up for the meat. And we're using 80 20 beef and then um, Italian hot sausage. This is two and a quarter pounds and that's one pound. One and a quarter. Oh, one and a quarter. Sorry. Yeah. It's a good thing I got you. He's the smallest grubber gloves. <laughs> Pistol's losing faith in you back there. <laughs> Help. Ah. Did you rip it? This is what we call the humidity test. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Do you need a new one? <laughs> I'm sorry, 
this is funny. This is not funny. <laughs> I mean, good enough, right? Oh, no. Okay, try again. Okay, he got another one on, but it took so long, Pistol fell asleep back there. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. Meat so, goes in. Meat goes in. a lot and we still have a lot left <laughs> um now i i did not make homemade sauce i am using two jars of sauce so whatever doesn't fit in here yeah um i say we put in the, the cover it put it in the fridge and then we find a campground in a couple days break out the camp oven and we make a meatloaf that'd be good so I guess we didn't explain how we're cooking these. We are not frying them. We are not baking them first. I'm just gonna put the sauce in this pot and we're putting meatballs in. Then we're gonna bring it to a simmer and simmer for 40 minutes and they should be done. So that's the plan. Okay, these have been simmering for actually probably an hour. A little longer? Yeah, and then I turned them off and let them set. One thing I did notice is I did not come back and stir these and a few kind of stuck to the bottom. So there are a few, I didn't want them. Cheesy. I didn't want them, to, want them to break up, so I didn't want to come back and stir them. So I think we should scoop one out and taste it. And then we're making meatball subs. Alright, cut this. I'm very excited about the subs. Okay, wait. It's like a lasagna meatball. Totally. Wow. Me it, first. You first. Might be too hot. Very hot. Okay. But yeah, that's um that tastes like lasagna? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta try it. That's yummy. Yeah. Not too cheesy, but there's enough there that makes it really good. No. Mmm. That was really good. It would have been really good. Original plan was to put it on some pasta, which would have been just as good, but yeah. we thought, let's make some subs. Yeah, they're very, the texture is very soft, so I can see why some people might just want to fry them first or bake them so they're a little firmer on the outside. I actually really like these. I would definitely so do good. these again. So, and so easy. It was fairly easy, yeah. There's no frying and mess in the van. Right. No, it was perfect for van. All right, let's make a sandwich. Let's make a sandwich. I can fit one more in there. Smaller one. Mm -hmm. And of course, we need to add even more so, cheese on top. Here we have it. Meatball subs. Behold the masterpiece that is. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't think I can manhandle this thing and eat at the same time. Mm. Mm. I think I got some on my nose. Oh my gosh, I did. What an awesome way to make meatballs. Yeah. I think those are a keeper. <laughs> They're very tender. Good thing, because we got 
15 more meatballs. We have a lot of meatballs to work through here. Well, there you have it, folks. Ricotta meatballs. Who did thunk it? Now, I can't really take credit for this recipe. It, I altered it a little bit from the one I saw, but I did see this online. So I thought, you know, I got to try that because it just sounds too good. Too easy. Mmm. Okay. I swear we're headed to Maryland. One of these days we'll get to Maryland. <clears throat> See you down the road. Carry on. Carry on. For behind the scenes footage, extra content, and all our videos early release and ad free, check out our Patreon page. And check out our blog on our website, carryonvagabond.com. Thanks again and carry, carry on. on.